In this video, we will be discussing how to automate your workflow by using automatic and parallel transitions. These transition types are only available in PDM Professional. The first transition we'll look at is automatic transitions. So using conditions, we can set up our transitions to automatically push data from one state to another. These are those red transitions that we see at the top. The lightning bolt indicates that it is an automatic transition. The next transition type is parallel, which requires one or more signatures before allowing the file to move from one state to another. So this parallel transition is this green transition that we see right here, past approval. We'll first see how to set these transitions up, then we will run a file through the workflow to understand how these transitions work. The first transition type that we will take a look at is automatic. So again, these are the red transitions at the top. I have this one set up automatically to transition CAD data into the approval process, as well as all non-CAD data to go to that vaulted state. This will save users time so they don't have to manually choose which pieces of data are CAD data and which are not. PDM will automatically do that for us. So to create an automatic transition, change that transition type to automatic. And if we have multiple automatic transitions stemming from the same state, CAD data and non-CAD data, we must set up conditions to understand which pieces of data should go where. So if we look at this condition here, I can see that I have a file path or the file's name, and this is equal to percent symbol dot SLD percent symbol. This percent symbol acts as a wildcard for any string of numbers or characters zero or more. So this value says any file that ends in .sld, either ASM, PRT, or DRW. To understand more about these wildcard characters, be sure to check out the admin guide, which is found under the help tab administration guide. All information about wildcards and conditions will be found in here. So looking at this condition here, all CAD files or any SOLIDWORKS documents will follow this CAD data automatic transition. And if I look at this non-CAD data over here at the conditions, I can see that this is all text that does not contain a file path ending in .sld. So anything that is not a SOLIDWORKS file will go to vaulted, while all SOLIDWORKS files will go to under editing. Now that we've seen our automatic transitions, let's take a look at our parallel transition. The parallel transition is this green past approval transition that is going into the approved state. This transition requires a role to be added. So we can see I already have a role called approvers here, but if we needed to add a new role, we could choose add role. Instead, I'll go ahead and edit this existing role, and we can see that we've given it a name such as approvers. We've added whichever necessary members here and we can choose how many of these members are required to pass this approval. So we can see here I have three users and two of them must pass the approval before this file moves to the approved state. So with our role added to the past approval transition, we can now go ahead and put these transitions into action by moving a file through our workflow. So now that we understand the different types of transitions, let's analyze the workflow to understand where these files are going to go. So in this example, I'm going to bring in a Word document and a CAD file. So these files have not yet been introduced to my vault, meaning that they're going to go to this initial check-in state first. From there, they'll follow either one of the automatic transitions, the CAD data will go to under editing, while the Word document will go to vaulted. From there, I can take our CAD data, I'll push it to waiting for approval, where two out of my three approvers are going to have to pass the approval to get it to the approved state. So let's go ahead and take a look at our vault. I can see here I have two plate documents. One is a Word document and one is a CAD file. So notice that both of these files have not been introduced to my vault just yet. Neither of them are inside of a state at the moment. They're both checked out. And if I go ahead and check these files in, it'll introduce it to my workflow and we can see which state each of these files ends up in. So if I go ahead and press check in, I'll go ahead and I'll check this in here. And I can see that my Word document has gone to the vaulted state where my CAD file has gone to the under editing. 
So let's continue by moving our CAD data through the workflow. So I'll right click, I'll change the state, and we could say submit for approval. And I'll go ahead and press change state. I can see that it's now in the waiting for approval state. And again, since I am one of the approvers, I'll go ahead and give our first signature. So I'll go to change state. I can see past approval here. And in parentheses, it's telling me zero out of two approvers have passed approval. So I'll go ahead and I'll pass approval as myself. And I'll choose change state. Notice that it is still in the waiting for approval state until that second approver signs off on this file. So with that being said, I'll log off as myself. I'll log in as the next approver, and we'll go ahead and give our second signature to move this CAD file to our approved state. I'm now logged in as our second approver, where I can go ahead and take this CAD file, again, still in that waiting for approval state. And if I right click, and choose change state, I can see past approval. There's already been one signature here. Now that I'm the second one, if I go ahead and choose past approval, I can see here the history, right? So I was the first one to approve this. I wrote a comment here. Any of that history from any of the past approvers would be seen here. I can leave a comment if I'd like, and I'll go ahead and press change state. Now that two out of our three approvers have now approved this document, it is now in the approved state. In this video, we were able to see how automatic and parallel transitions can help automate our approval process, as well as keeping our files secure by ensuring that everyone who needs to approve this file has seen it and signed off on it. So this has been automating your approval process inside of SOLIDWORKS PDM. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.